Oh, no. Could they at least give me a chance? Oh, this is gonna hurt. That music, though. What? Surveillance robots? There it is. It's a small archasm built for patrolling. It ain't any type I've ever seen. They must be, uh, they must be up ahead. Old class seven, we can't afford to waste time exploring. Our destination is the ruins of Hommel. We're to find what the society is up to and stop them. Laura, Fee, Elliot, Agate, follow me. All right. Huh, you got it. Interesting. I want to see what Agate can do. Okay, maybe this is the main road. I should go back. This one's strong. Be careful. Okay, so you know what? Definitely putting that on Laura. I'll right handle now. this. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. My turn. Let's have the brain fee in there. Not in my watch. Nice. Weak. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I'm talking about. Take that. Dang, fee killing it, my man. Turn. Dang, this game. Ooh, hold up. Hold up. I just realized what I just saw. Elliot took quite the beat. Just activate. Fear. I'm up. Clap cheeks. Huh. I'll handle this. Clap cheeks. Now. Yeah, we gotta do that. An opening. We gotta build that BP back Carry. up. Nice finish. Let's go. She said that with yeah. aggression, boy. Yeah. Perish. Not in my watch. Dang, Reen is Take taking that. it like a champ. Let's go. Dang, Fee putting in that Let's work go. though. Yeah. Everyone okay? Okay. So I think that's the way I gotta go. I must continue to train. I did it. Nice. <laughs> Yay, I did it. It sure looked tough, but we're fine now. Oh, you guys all class seven graduates, yeah? Fee's been a surprise, but you two ain't bad yourselves. Then again, that dip spit of a founder has always had an eye for talent. <laughs> Come on, chill. Stop dissing Oliver like that. <laughs> Called him a dip spit. Um, pardon? Are you talking about Class Seven's founder? That couldn't be Prince Oliver. Yeah, that's the one. We met in Libero four years back. Didn't know he was a prince till later. He hid his identity and walked around pretending to be a musician on vacation. Anyway, with a couple of fresh bracers leading the way, we worked together to crush the society's plans. Man, did he ever make fools of us when he waltzed in leading the division of the Imperial Army. Uh, I heard about that from Instructor Sarah. He collaborated with a libertarian general to impede the Imperial Army's involvement? <laughs> he couldn't settle for anything less dramatic. <laughs> Not for one who founded Class 7 and the Crimson Wings, I suppose. Man is about chaos. Well, as you probably know, he lost his wings. He's no longer under the protection of the Vendor family, either. That's exactly how the Imperial government know how that best <laughs> the Blood and Iron Chancellor wanted it. 
Mm. You seem well versed in the current goings on on of the Empire. I guess it's not like I want to save the guy or anything. The Civil War here is over, but the army's still building its strength, and then you got other groups sneaking around. Your government continues to doggedly regulate the guild. It's even putting pressure on the guild's headquarters in Le Mans, and that's all the way in the center of the continent. Their regulations were why Agate and another libertarian a rank bracer was dispatched. Oh, what a headache. Dang. Truly, we are indebted to all the guild has done. I realize if something's happened to the Empire, it'd be chaos for the countries at its borders. Those two bracers I mentioned before were actually supposed to come here. Then they get denied entry and well, here I am. Just who are they to get denied by the government? They're a pair of young bracers from Libero. I haven't met them yet. I heard they can't enter because their dad's real high up in the Royal Army. That, and one of them's got a heck of a background that makes anyone keep tabs on them. Dang. All right. The ruins are pretty far. Could be dangerous. Don't let anything get the jump on you. Roger. Let's begin our investigation. So this is definitely the way to go. He's alone. <laughs> oh, that scared me too. Dang damn it. That dang. Show no fear. That dang. That dang on command. Oh, jeez. My turn. Yes, your turn. Oh, spit. How dare you. I miss how you can counter a counter like in the first game. I guess they eated that. Now, yeah, clap back. Look at that damage, boy. <laughs> Down bad for fee, man. Surprise attack. Yes, indeed. Clap cheeks. An opening. Finish. I love how Sarah says Paris. She says that with like freaking aggression. She's like spread Arc them cheeks. Thanks. Let me stop. <laughs> when I want it. What the heck are you? Bring it on. The turkey owl monster thing. Oh, it's a turkey owl. Gobble, freaking gobble. Second form, down. Gobble, gobble. Now. <laughs> An opening. Oh well. This is it. It's dead. My turn. That thing ain't no threat. I'll handle this. Yes, clap. <laughs> Cheeks. It's off balance. It's dead. An opening. <laughs> what a weird thing. For Cynthia's thing. Leave it to me. Yeah, I want to see what this man can do. Let's see. Delay, huh? Let's see what he got. Damn. Oh, heck! Oh. Dang! Okay! <laughs> Dang! That dude slaps hard! <laughs> what? Payback! Oh, yeah. Let's go. Ag it. We agging it. Aggro. Oh, they just won't quit, will they? Looks like they sent them out to patrol the whole area. Hmm. Good thing I stopped short stuff in her tracks. Who are you talking about? Tita Russell? Yeah, she knows about Homo. So she kept nagging me about coming with. You think it was about Homo? Huh. I'd say she just wanted to cozy up to her man. <laughs> Tina's that blonde girl with the ponytail at the camp, right? Ah, uh, her. She was very charming. You two don't look related. Is she dear to you? Yeah, no. For crying out loud, even her Doggo mom won't get off my back about that. 
You could say she's like a little sister to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ever since around uh, the horrible shutdown phenomenon, she's been kind of attached to me. Huh, she was in libero then. Sure was. She was only 12, but she faced the danger like a champ. She looks like she wouldn't harm a fly, but she always step up when you need her. Hmm. Didn't think she'd go to Empire in a stale stead. <laughs> she went and grew up before I even knew it. <laughs> I have a feeling she really is dear to him. Yeah, the way he talks about her kind of melts my heart. <laughs> Believe me, Sarah and Tovar tease him about it all the time. Hey, the heck you're whispering about? Whatever, I'm just glad she's having fun as a student. Don't be afraid to give her a hard push as an instructor when she needs it. <laughs> no problem. But in order for me to do that, we'll need to tackle what's happening now. <laughs> Alright, let's move. Whew. This is unreal. There was supposed to be a landslide here, but I don't see traces of one. There should still be something to see after only 14 years. Yeah, it brings to mind what we were told about this place. Agate. Marquis High Arms mentioned something. He said a high-ranking bracer would know something about the Hommel incident. Did he? Hmm. I'm just telling you what I heard, okay? It's not gonna be pretty for Imperials to hear. Please, Agate. Yeah, I want to know. Okay, then. If it wasn't already clear to you, the landslide story was fabricated. Ooh! -hoo! Fourteen years ago, Erebonia and Liberal signed a treaty in secret. Huh. With it came an official announcement. In secret? Everything about that sounds ominous. Hmm. It said that the village of Hamel had been wiped out in a natural disaster. It's not even on the map anymore, right? It's amazing how easy it is to hide the truth. No one ever had to know what the people of Hamel were victims of mass murder. What? Murder? Agate, that's... Not everyone was murdered. Two people survived. It must have been Agate and Tila. But that tra- Well, I could be wrong about that. But, but that tragedy of Hamo, as you know, it isn't real. Wait, no, it wasn't them. Wait, was it? Hmm. It wasn't nature's doing. It was greed. Hmm. If what came of that incident was the Hundred Days War, it doesn't make any sense for Libero to hide it all behind the landslide. Let's keep moving. We'll see what the society is up to first. I'll tell you the rest once we're in Hommel. Okay. Thank you. Dang. Mass murder? I wonder. Ooh, a treasure chest. You can't hide. Ooh, crystal edge. Yes! I was about to buy that crap. I don't need to buy it. Nice. I don't need to make it. I wonder what it uh, what it boosts. Uh, what does it boost? Oh snap! All right, well, there you go, Elliot. Something even better. No, oh crap! Snuck up on me. That's okay. That's okay. Iron will formation. Iron will formation. And we'll heal Laura. Cause I want to test out this this move. Now. Let's do it. 
We got you some good spit now, my boy. Cut up. Thank you. All right, Elliot, Elliot should slap my hard turn. now. My turn. <laughs> slap. Okay. Did they just move? That thing moved out of the way. Oh, you know what? No, you think you're moving out of the way. No, you're not. Ultimate no, suction. Get back in this. Get back in there. Got it. All right, let's switch in, Agate. You got this. Leave it to me. I want to see what his S craft can do. Dang, that's massive. All right, your time to shine. Oh shit! Dang. What the freak? Dragon Fall! Dragon Fall! Holy crap! Oh, lovely! There. They got cursed! <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. Dang. <sighs> what is this? This place seems so sad. But kind of beautiful in a way. It must have been a lovely village at one point. Dang. Perhaps it's a sign the souls resting here are at peace. I hope so. Yeah, I like to think of it that way. Joshua and Estelle, the bracers I mentioned before, they came here once. He's probably why the dead here can rest easy. Joshua? The one with a hell of a background. He's originally Dang. from Erebonia. And he was from this village? Yeah. I said there were two survivors, right? So Estelle and Joshua. The other one was enforcer number two of Ouroboros, Luve the Blade Lord. A survivor joined Ouroboros? Oh. Sarah said that name before. Joshua and that guy. As have other enforcers. That's an interesting connection. Hmm. The tragedy of Hamo, of a place lost to destruction and slaughter 14 years ago. Oh, okay. Now the pieces is coming together. This is, this is must be when um, Joshua was taken in by uh, Stale's father. The perpetrators on the surface were a bunch of Jaeger dropouts. Oh, and the ones who hired them were officers in the Imperial Army. Oh, what was that? Jaeger dropouts. Back then, the army was run almost entirely by nobles. But they started to get frustrated after seeing commoners rise through the ranks. So in order to make themselves look better, they tried getting going after war victories. Dang, really? They decided they'd conquer a small country to the south. The barrel. Dang. What the heck? But they needed an excuse to start a war. Dang. They massacred a town near the boundary and made it look like it was done by LaBarrel's army. Jeez. As a retribution, they declared war on LaBarrel and on the very same day sent an armed division led by a noble officer. The Imperial Army used their military power and trampled right over the barrel. They even had cavalry support from the provincial armies. The whole world thought the Empire was about to completely take over the barrel when a well-planned counterattack by the Libertarian Army halted and completely drove back the Imperial Army at the last minute. Dang. 
it was all thanks to a, a colonel, um, a, I said colonel, a colonel in the Libertarian Army, Cassius Bright. Oh, okay, yep, okay, I just said that. So Cassius, this is when Cassius actually found Joshua. He planned a defensive strategy using newly developed high-speed airships and managed to divide and conquer the Imperial troops. But, um... Arabonia is a big place. The Imperial Army started gathering up more troops to throw at Liberal. But all of a sudden, a ceasefire treaty was signed between the two countries. With one condition. No one ever mentioned the genocide in Hamel. Dang. Oof. That's so terrible. I think I remember the boss telling me when I was younger that there was a small town that got destroyed by pieces of trash who eventually got killed off one by one. They were probably killed off to keep them quiet. And the noble officer who led the invasion? Yeah, he was given the death penalty after a top secret military trial. At the same time, they came up with a convenient lie about Hamel to feed the public. They said it had been wiped out by a landslide and quietly took it off the map. Dang, that's the truth of this place. Painful truth. Dang. But now I understand why my dad and Marquis High Arms kept quiet about this place. I can see why it's not something to reveal to the public. Yeah, a country killing its own people as an excuse to attack another country. Then the government covering it up after the fact. Jeez. It's simply too cruel and sad. Dang. Were people to find out, they would go into a panic and regardless of social status. The Queen of Libero had a real tough time with all this. She had to choose between the ceasefire treaty and the truth of Hamel. Ultimately, she chose to keep her people safe. I see. A decision the Empire forced on her. Dang. How about we go leave some flowers? There should be a memorial in the back of the village. Yeah. Let's go. We should stay on, uh, stay on our guard, though. I knew it. I knew something was gonna happen. Oh, that's his memories. That was... There's no doubt about it. But I've never been here before. Or is there some relation? Knew it. Dang. Name it! <laughs> no! They're here! Yep. They're freaking here. Oh boy. Hold up. I do not like this at all. Jeez. As I thought. So were they the survivors? There you are. Wait. Were they the survivors? They were the survivors, weren't they? Unless they knew who that person was. Okay, your turn. Well, go ahead. Dang, they got cold. We'll wait for you to leave the flowers. Dang. You'll wait? 
thanks. Dang. Yeah, even they got they even they're sentimental. We shall dedicate these flowers then. Dang, dude. That broken sword was his. Yes. The Kernviter. Oh, okay. The Ouroboros member. The Grandmaster gifted it to him. But it's lost its powers now. Seeing it again takes me back. Dang. Lenhart the Blade Lord. I heard he was crazy strong. Seems like McFire Bro liked him a lot too. The McFire Bro? No way. Big fire, bro. Yes. The two of them spent a lot of time together. Dang. Fighting. Are you finished? There are a lot of things I need to ask you about. Including last night. But. Not here. Dang. We can go to the spot in front of town. Should be okay to go at it there. Hmm. That's fine. You don't mind, right? Nope, it's a okay by me. Besides, the main attraction isn't even here yet. Alrighty then, let's go. Dang. This story, bro. Main attraction? Hmm. And what did she mean by that? I mm. haven't a clue. But we need to settle this matter all the same. Dang. Interesting. Oh. Oh boy. I shall be direct. What is it you are trying to accomplish by disrupting this land's tranquility? It seems like you've got enough courtesy to mourn the dead. Dang. So why are you using a place like this? This is not the only village of its kind. Hmm. Whoa, really? There are more than enough villages outside the Empire that have been destroyed as well. Dang. You're telling me Erebonia destroyed many villages? Such as my hometown. Oh, so that explains why she joined Ouroboros. Huh? But that's not important. The dead are dead. The living have their own world to worry about. Dang. A world where we live, struggle, suffer, and die, feeling the joy and comfort of every moment spent in it. Dang, those words. <sighs> well, let's get down to it, shall we? Yeah, I know she was itching to do it. It's too bad Dolphy isn't here, but... I got Sylphie and an A-Rank Bracer here to play with me, so this should be pretty fun! Oh, Lord. Oh! Oh, come on, man! The Red Constellation's military monsters! Oh, no. And that appears to be a machine oh, belonging to the Stalridder. This is gonna be bad. Vanguard F2, Sleipnir. It's a state-of-the-art masterwork. Ew. I'm so good, we don't really need them. But I figure we might as well spice things up. Gosh. It's five on five. Yeah, I guess that's their reason for doing it, but crap. All right. If we win, you're going to talk. You'll tell us what the society is up to here after a year and a half of silence. Ooh. 
Oh. Right, Sylphie, let's settle what we started yesterday. Just what I wanted to hear. Oh, this Come, is bad. Come, Ashen Awakener. Heavy Blade. You as well, daughter of Arsaid. Oh, boy. Fine by me. Bring it on, you damn pests! May uh, our duel be honorable. <laughs> Let's get at it. Why they get the attack first? Oh, that's oh, mad that's damage. Burn. Oh. Oh, they back. Gosh. My turn. This is bullshit. <laughs> okay, how are we going to deal with this? Oh, no. Nope. He better. You got this. Mm -hmm. I'll do my best. Okay, so how are we going to deal with this? Because this is bad all the same. Dumb things got mad okay how are we gonna deal with this Laura's too many people are burnt please hear my song too many people are burnt here thanks thanks, thanks. let's start there ah oh. okay them things aren't that bad but they're gonna be a nuisance it's my turn they gotta go Hmm. Gale is gonna come in handy here. You know what? What do I have? Yeah, we better do that. Let's go. This would actually set up a lot. Especially for fee. Better yet, better yet, we'll do iron wheel formation. Forma! Iron wheel formation! My turn! And then we'll do this. Azure Cleaver! <laughs> it's off balance! Keep it up! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to use that. Ha! My turn! Yep, I ain't wasting no time. We s crafting the crap out of everybody. Finish this. Screw this. I gotta get rid of all the little guys, especially that big bot. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh snap. Damn you. That's even better. You know what? Yeah. I I definitely now. see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Nobody too many people got burnt. Too many people got burnt. Okay, this is gonna come in handy. Arcus, activate. That thing's coming in. There. Thank thanks, you. thanks. That damage reduction is gonna go. come in handy. Okay. What order we're we looking at right now? V would actually come in handy here. Better yet, let's do this. Unforgivable. Oh man. Payback. Okay. My turn. I want to get rid of the pests. I feel like that's going to be real important here. You 
know what? Can't have too many of them rolling around. The soul of our say. Screw it. No! Uh -oh! Screw it. Agate already got a lot of his CP bag. Uh -oh! Gotta go in hard. Radiant Phoenix Blade! Hey, not bad. Oh, I'll show you an ogre's power. Oh, not that <laughs> crap. Oh, crap. Payback. Okay, this sucks. Not bad, but I'm going to get serious now. Oh, Let's go, no. Could they at least give me a chance? Oh, this is going to hurt. Kill. Damn. Damn you. Oh. Everyone. My turn. <laughs> do they always lose. have to do this? Do, you know what, man? No. Let's finish this. Oh. Dragon Ball! Gosh. That's a bad idea to get them all revved up. All right. It's my turn. This is actually bad. Everyone's down. Let's go. All right. Know what? This is cool. Can I do that on? I'll try to keep them alive. Thanks. Dang. Good thing I did put Elliot on them. Dang. I, I, I had it. Fred. They screwed me. We gotta get Elliot up. Elliot. Get your boot up. We <laughs> his CP's gone. No. Thank you. Oh, uh, we're straight defensive mode right now. <laughs> Can you take this? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. It's my turn. It's okay. You know what? Okay, this is it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, take not... that. Oh. He's down Payback. again? Sorry, oh. Everyone. Dang, oh. bro. Oh. Eight turns. Oh, crap. This might be what I need. Make it quick. Zephyr wing. All right. All right. That's just what I need. All right. Hopefully this works. Oh boy. Wait, Laura. Yeah, we could get Laura. There. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good Take shit. This. Okay. Let's go. We gotta get everybody up. Get up. Dang, but they're kind of. <laughs> Thank you. I'm up. Okay. Okay, Elliot, we need that blue orchestra right Harmonize now. Harmonize blue orchestra. Let's go. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. Huh. They came in clutch. Thank you. All right. Oh, they came in freaking clutch. All right. There. All right. Get him. Oh yeah, we need that. An opening. Huh. 
Okay, we're good. Damn. All right. My turn. And then Elliot. Oh boy. Oh yeah. We gotta do something. Arcus, activate. Do that. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we're Take cool. This. Nice. It's down. Yeah, we, oh, you know, I should have did a rush, but you know what? That's yeah. cool. How much? Oh, hell yeah. We got, we, we're good now. You know what? Uh, yes. Yeah, hear my song. <sighs> thanks, thanks. I'm up. I think we need Fee in here. Next go round, we're calling in Fee for sure. All right, all right, Rain. I think it's so time. Get sexy. My blade, <laughs> calm as still water. Beautiful. No. Dang, <laughs> that that freaking order stuff saved my life. Crap. <sighs> oh, that should do it. Man. Okay. Not cool. Lord, don't freeze. Damn it. She froze. Oh, shit. That's going to hurt. Oh. Let's go. Oh, that shit kept him alive. Good shit. Okay. Um, Elliot's turn is next. We'll tag in Fee. You got this. <laughs> got it. Okay. He doesn't have enough for that song thing. Crap. But he could definitely heal Fee. This is actually a good opportunity. Yeah. Let's do this. Let, yep, let's do this. Finish it off. Oh, that saved my life. Holy crap! Woo. Now for the fish. Good spit. Lethal crusade. Yes. Yes, my turn. Oh man, that was. Cool. How dare you? Damn, and they broke. And they're broke. All right, what do we got? We don't got much of anything, but you know what? Cool. Can we get a back hit? Nice. How much? Dang, that's not much. You know what? Sorry. There we me. go. Perfect. Yes. We getting that damage. Damn. I can't get both of them. But you know what? This works out. What kind of orders do we got? Valiant hearts. Let's see. Break damage? Hell yes. Give them hell! Crimson break! Alright. Yep. Now we're really gonna break you down. Doofly, you gotta go. Damn. Ow. My turn. Oh yes! Yes. Straight path. Yes! Oh! Why?